What is up everybody? Happy Thursday. Crossing the street, not the best time to start a video. Uh, happy Thursday. I have had the worst sleep I've had this entire month. I maybe, I fell asleep probably at two o'clock. Cat came and started waking us up at 5.30 as per usual, so three and a half hours of sleep, not a lot of sleep. I fell back asleep and kind of dozed for a little bit. Um, got up about seven, which is really late for me. It's 8.30ish now, so I got out of the house extremely late. I'm usually in the office at this time. But instead, my coffee will make it through. And you'll make it through today too. So I started heading to work and um, I started going through my Twitter feed like I do when I'm on the bus and trying to ignore everyone, which is very bad. You shouldn't do that. You should uh, be aware of your surroundings and you know interact with the world around you, but you know, like everyone else, I bury myself in my phone. Something maybe I need to work on. Um, but anyway, uh, everybody online was starting to talk about the rumors of one of my favorite uh, former Sounders um, being linked back with the team, uh, Freddie Montero. And while there's almost zero chance that it happens, um, I got really excited. For the most part, if you uh, get a new player, it's because you bought that player from another team. And you can only do that in uh, two specific windows. They're called transfer windows. So soccer fans all over the world, when their transfer window is about to open, um, they uh, start scouring the internet for rumors of anything related to their team. And it, it's basically kids going through the toy catalog before Christmas time. They're like, ooh, this would be nice, and this would be nice. And oh, did you see that this person is available? And it sounds like they're attached to us. Most of the time it's nonsense. That player's agent is trying to book a better deal. Um, while negotiating their contract with their current club or they're um, trying to put pressure on another club that they're working with for a transfer, but they're letting them know. It's kind of like the um, real estate game. It's like, oh, there's another really interested party, so if you really want this house, you better buy it right now, and you better buy it at this price. Um, so there won't be anything to it more than likely, but, oh, man, I would be a cat with kittens if Freddie came back home. That's all I have to say about that particular issue at this point in time. I don't see it happening, and we can all get back to our regular, regularly scheduled day of cat pictures and um, hot takes on everything under the sun. We got through the work day, and uh, people are talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow being Inauguration Day, I've talked about it a couple times uh, in passing. Uh, people are concerned about the commute and getting around downtown tomorrow because of the inauguration and the fact that there are uh, fairly large scheduled protests supposed to be happening in Seattle tomorrow. I'm coming up on Westlake Center here in a moment and Westlake is typically the formation point where people end up meeting up for rallies for all sorts of in, what they uh, uh, deem as injustices, whatever they're protesting about. It typically ends up at Westlake because it's kind of centralized downtown. Um, I'm not so sure I'll actually spend any time trying to get down here tomorrow or not to see what's going on and show it to you guys. Uh, but I think it's important that uh, People understand that no matter who you wanted to win the election, people think very strongly one way or the other. So tomorrow should be interesting. This is Westlake behind me. As you can see, it's just normal right now. There's actually a police car. The light's on right there. Probably headed uh, to dealing with something at the mall that's right there. 
but uh, that's where the action supposedly is heading, going down tomorrow. So I realized that I didn't have things for lunch tomorrow, and I ran off to the grocery store just a minute or so ago to go pick up a few things uh, for breakfast and for lunch tomorrow. Um, maybe five or six things, nothing major crazy, not like a normal shopping day. But I got to the register, uh, got everything bagged up in my uh, reusable bag, went to use my credit card, and apparently my credit card didn't work. And I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um, that was embarrassing. Um, but, you know, at least it wasn't like a normal shopping day where I had, you know, two or three bags worth of groceries that I needed to then walk out of the store without of. And it was a little bit later during the day, so people weren't, um, people weren't lined up like crazy at the checkout. So, uh, minimal embarrassment, but still kind of sucked. Uh, that's all right. I'll get up early tomorrow and call the bank, figure out what's happening, and go and get my groceries tomorrow. Uh, it's been a pretty lazy night. It was not feeling the best. She went to bed early. Um, cat is over there having a nap. I, as you can see, I'm laying here. I'm just sitting here watching some wrestling. Uh, because what else would I do during the week other than play video games and watch wrestling? Um... I just talked for the last few minutes about my thoughts on the uh, inauguration and the where we're going as a country. But I've decided I'd rather keep politics out of this vlog for now. Um, there's going to be plenty of coverage of it and plenty of people giving their opinions. And uh, I'd like to kind of keep this particular vlog a... Just a happy place for now. Just a place for ideas and growth and strength and, and creativity. So, uh, decided to nix that. And it's just not necessary for right now. Um, I'm going to go back to watching wrestling and enjoy my night. And I hope you have a lovely night and you wake up uh, feeling inspired uh, to do things. Uh, to make the world a better place tomorrow, whether it's um, helping somebody across the street that needs help, uh, helping your neighbor, um, you know, take stuff to the, the, I don't know, take take help them take their garbage out if they've got a lot of garbage. Whatever the case may be, if you do, if you can help help somebody, um, help someone have a better day than what they're having, then I think um, you're doing your job as a human. So, with that. I will call it a night. I hope you have a pleasant tonight and tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. Bye guys.